her older sister, right? The younger sisters don't have nobody to look up to if our older women are out of, out, uh, out of order. Oh. You understand that? That's why you got our older women going to the club with the younger sisters. I'm not saying you, but a lot of these older women out here, they're going out to clubs, partying with their daughters, partying with their granddaughters. They hate that the prophets are back teaching our people the truth. We are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. That is who we are. You know why men, black men kill each other? Because they don't see each other as Jesus Christ. We are Israelites from the time of the Jews. Let's look at Hebrews uh, 7 to 14. Because they don't see each other as Jesus Christ. Because Back when you was coming up, did y'all wear pants? No, we wore no. dresses. Y'all wore dresses, right? Yeah. And I want to show you something. When our foremothers, when they, our ancestors, when we came over here in slavery, guess what? Our sisters were wearing dresses. Long dresses. Long dresses. When we was in the cotton field, the tobacco field, we were wearing long dresses. You understand? So why is it today, why is it today that we're, our sisters and our brothers are uh, cross-dressing? Why is that? Because, that's, hey, that's a hundred percent right. But what you gotta understand is, this happened, this happened during the feminist movement, all right? When our women wanted to be equal with the men. No, they wanted to be equal with white women. Yeah, well, that, that too. They wanted to be equal with white women, but guess what? They wanted to be equal with the men. They wanted the factory jobs. They wanted to put on their pants. What's the what's the Edomite that, that they show? Uh, a million bloom and glorious stand-up. Yeah, a million bloom and glorious stand -up. So look, check this out. Right. So right now, you got on spandex, right? Do you know who's a pedophile out here? Bring it up. You know who a rapist out here? Bring it up. Do you? I'm not looking at you for the conversation. No, 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 you don't. You don't know. So, conversation I would. so this is the thing. The Lord gave our women dress code to protect them. Give me Deuteronomy 22. I want to just show you something real quick. Because you are here showing all your goodies, right? It's a nasty Negro walking around the sidewalk somewhere. You understand? When, when you when you try to dress sexy, you're dressing to attract a man for sex. Because it's the thing. When our women put on those tight clothes, guess what they do? They they put them on and they look and check and see what they look like in the mirror, right or wrong. They do, right? So therefore, that's how you know that the, the, the purpose behind it is to attract a man. Everything women do is to attract a man. They wear, sis. Why put this on because I'm comfortable? Because you're comfortable. But guess what? When you're going out, you're going to put something similar on. Are you going to put on a nice, modest dress? Or are you going to put on some tight pants? Dress? Look at that. What do you say? Dress? You say, oh, no, I ain't putting no dress on. I mean, I do. I mean, I do, but I don't. You do, you, but you don't. Watch this. Read that. You read 22 and 5. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. Uh -huh. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth to a man. So the Lord said, a woman shall not wear that which pertaineth to a man. So we discussing what right now? Pants, right? The woman. Yes, we're discussing the woman. The Lord says, she shall not wear that which belongs to a man. What article of clothing are we talking about? Bring it up. What, what is it? Pants. <laughs> so you look at these jeans. Our women's jeans have zippers on, right? What are the zippers for? Is it to pull? What you pulling out? What you, are you pulling something out to relieve yourself? Huh? No. No, I no exactly. No, I don't have one up. So guess what? Again. Hold on, sis. Uh, hold on, hold on. I just need you to listen real quick. So, the zipper is for a man to relieve himself. Women don't have zippers. Oh, well, they have zippers, but they don't have nothing to pull out to relieve themselves. All right. Let's go. Let's go to something else. A bicycle. A male bike was straight across like this. A woman bike was slanted. Why? 
So a woman still can ride her bike with a dress on. Right. Y'all understand that? Everything was set set up for our women to be like women, the bicycles, the dress code, like when you go in the bathrooms, you got the, the skirt on the woman. Y'all understand that stuff. But what happened? Give me uh Jeremiah 17 uh and four real quick. I'm gonna show you something. I don't let this bus leave me now. Yeah. Jeremiah, Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 4. Uh -huh. And thou even thyself shall discontinue from thy heritage. The Lord says this. We was going to discontinue from our heritage. You understand? Discontinue from our God-given heritage. Right. We was one, our women once dressed modest. Our men once wore nice garments. You understand? But now our brothers wearing these tight-ass jeans. Our yeah. sisters wearing tight-ass jeans just like the men. They're not... They, but yeah, our woman, our women coming out, our women coming out of the house with barely clothes on. Right. Y'all understand that? Our heritage, our women used to be beautiful. You know, our sisters are still beautiful, but we used to dress and carry ourselves like the royal nation we are. Give right. me first Peter's two and nine. Hold that real quick. Yeah, hold Look, read that. First table. Peter's two and nine. Listen to this. Let me listen to that. First Peter's two and nine. Because one at one point, we used to be. We used to be so beautiful walking on the earth that other nations wanted to be like us. Okay, uh, That's why now they get lip injections. They want our big pretty lips. They get butt injections. They want like, their body that our sisters got. Y'all understand that? Read. The book of Peter, chapter, chapter 2 and verse 9. Uh -huh. But you are a chosen generation. We are what? Chosen generation. We are a chosen generation. Every Listen, if God said the children of Israel are chosen, they... Could everybody else be chosen? Because it would no, it would be with no reason for um, us to be chosen if we was all the same. Right. The Lord said we are chosen generation. Read. A royal priesthood. Uh -huh. And holy nation. A holy nation. But are we carrying ourselves like a holy nation right now? Look at us. We feel like the lowest, the lowest uh, the, 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 uh, poverty stricken neighborhood. Sis. Sis. So, sis, I want you to pay attention to this. Read it from the top. But ye are a chosen generation. We are a chosen generation. The Most High God has chosen us to be above all nations on the earth. Read. A royal priesthood. Uh -huh. And holy nation. So we are a holy nation. We are separate from everybody else, man. Separate. Read. A peculiar people. A peculiar people. You ever heard somebody say, oh, he real peculiar. Read. That ye should show forth thy praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. So the Lord has called us, the children of Israel, out of darkness into his marvelous light. Today, that's what you, you're being called today. The Lord is trying to call you out of that darkness right now. You, the Lord is trying to tell you, hey, sis, change your life. While you're still here, you still got uh, 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 air in your lungs, change your life. That's why we're going over pain. You understand? That's why the officer went over fringes. Because, give me Titus too. Because the thing is, you are, you are our older sister, right? The younger sisters don't have nobody to look up to if our older women are out of, out, uh, out of order. Right. No. You understand that? That's why you got our older women going to the club with the younger sisters. Not saying you, but a lot of these older women out here, they're going out to the clubs, partying with their daughters, partying with their granddaughters. Read that, Titus. Titus chapter 2 and verse 3. Read. That the age women, likewise, that they be in behavior as becoming holiness, not false accusers. So it says our older women must uh, profess to become in holiness. They're supposed to teach holiness. They're supposed to be holy. They're supposed to be sober-minded. Our older women cannot be out here drunk. That's right. Because the, when you're drunk, you're not. Listen, you ever seen a drunk sister? You can barely control a woman that's drunk. Right. They be falling over the place. They be stumbling. They be giving themselves up. That's why a lot of our sisters get raped. Right. That's why a lot of our women get kidnapped. Read it up. You understand that? Read. Not giving to too much wine. So not giving to too much wine. So the Lord telling you it's okay for y'all to drink, but not too much. Because if you have too much, you become drunk. Read. Teachers of good things. So, therefore, if you're drunk, you can't teach nothing good. Right. You understand? Who gonna listen to a drunk? Nobody. The Lord said, a teacher of good things. 
What's some good things our women supposed to be teaching? Dress in modest. Love your husbands. We gonna go over that. Read. That they might teach the young women to be sober. So, our older women have to be sober to teach the younger sisters to be sober. Right. Read. To love their husbands. To what? To love their husbands. To love their husbands. The black women do not love their husbands. Wait, they have to be retaught to love their husband. Because America has put the woman over the man. Right. So guess what? Our women, they mistreat the black man. They be wanting, they be wanting the, what they say, uh, uh, um, uh, no, the black woman be, they be saying a uh, 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 high value man, right? But they be wanting high value men with five kids, five baby daddies, and working at McDonald's. Bring it up. How you gonna get a high value man like that? They, they need to be wanting a man of God that's gonna instruct them to help them get the kingdom. Cause America's gonna burn. That's you understand? Right. So that's why it says, love your husband. Teach your, the younger to love their husband. Because our sisters are out of order. They want to party all through their 30s and then get married. Is that what our women not want to do? They want to get married when they turn 30, they got three kids and five, three different baby daddies. That's what they want to do. That's when they want to start settling down. Everything is out of course right now. Everything. Read. To love their children. Uh, and love their children. What our sisters do today? They uh, they have all these kids, take them to grandma's house, and grandma raise them up. Right. But you're leaving out the major problem. What's the major problem? What happened to us during slavery is that the female slave masters, daughters and mothers and sisters and grandmothers and mothers and nieces, for sex on us when we were little girls, old women, and then after that, they brought in the pornography into the black community. So we've been programmed to be homosexual females who really don't even really indulge with a man. We indulge in with females. I got a question. Were not marriages kept during slavery? Say that again. Were well, marriage is not kept in slavery? You know, we're still, marriages are still arranged and in full effect during slavery. I didn't know that. Yeah, we're going to show you. Give me Deuteronomy 28. I'm going to show you that. Give me a, um, another man shall lay with your wife. Give me that. Yes, correct. There were more marriages in slavery than it is now. You understand that? It was, it was, it was more enforced back then than it is now. Nobody want to get married now. You understand? Give me that. Uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 30. Thou shalt betroth a wife, and another man shall lie with her. It says, You shall, uh, uh, a man shall betroth a wife, and another man shall lay with that woman that's promised to you. Another man. What happened? Slavery. Slavery. You're exactly right, sister. But that show you right there that we were still having marriages in slavery. Right. The Ma Master Charles at the Virginia plantation to come down to the South Carolina plant, the, uh, the the Clinton plantation. It's not funny, but that's exactly how it went. You understand? He'll come down. He say, "Hey, hey, uh, Toby, go fetch me that that gal of uh, uh, uh go t go fetch me your wife." <laughs> and what he say? Yes, sir, master. He go get his wife. They clean her up, bring her to Mr. Uh, Charles from the Virginia plantation, and he lie with her. Right. That's what's going on. That's the Bible. Right. You understand? Look. This is what happened. These bastards, like, look, look at this. this that's a sister right there. Right. Read it from the top. Thus shall be troll a wife, and another man shall lie with her. Right. Thus shall build a house, and thou shall not dwell therein. So, just for example, the slaves here in, uh, in South Carolina, we built this place. Oh. But guess what? Do we live in the fatness of South Carolina? No. We live at the bottom. We live at the bottom. We we living at the bus stop. Right. We living at the shelters. Right. We filling up the um this place right across the street, the halfway house. You then you leaving out one other thing. What else, sis? Uh, the slave masters' sons and uncles and fathers and whatever they were, the guys, they were having sex with the babies, the little boys and the little girls. Oh yeah, that's true. Okay. Yeah, that's that's true. That's what we was doing. Now they upgraded it. It's called child pornography today. But look, that's the thing, sis. Right now, even with all that being said, right. our people don't want to get married. Right. Our people still don't want to get married. They teach YOLO. Do it. 
It is what it is. Live, you only live once. You understand? That's what they teach it now. So our people are not trying to uh, get married. But go back to Jeremiah 17 to 4. We're going to show you. Like I, was, I just went over this. But I'm going I'm to touch it again so you can understand what I'm saying. Read that. Jeremiah 17 verse 4. Uh -huh. And thou, even thyself, should this continue from thy heritage. Our heritage was getting married. Arranged marriages. That was our, that was our heritage. That was our custom to get married. You understand? Hold that. Give me Deuteronomy 22 and uh, give me the law. Yeah. Entice the maid. 22. 16. 16. Exodus, Exodus 22 and 16. Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Give me, the, give me the law. Because we were, and during slavery, we still was arranging marriages. You understand? That's why it was so hard for the, that's what that's what they call uh, butt breaking. Back then, they used to take the strongest male, that, which had a wife and children, and they used to rape them in front of him. Right. You understand that? That's what they did in slavery. They ain't got to do that no more. Because sisters, they got these this new thing called swingers. Like, uh, Jay, uh, what's his name? Uh, Will Smith and his wife. And right down the street here, they have the, they left a remnant of where they used to the auction block. chain the horses, chain the black man, the four horses, and pull them apart. There's one right down there. And guess what, sis? That's they left all. A remnant. That's the thing. That's what we're teaching right now. That's all because we disobey our Lord. That's why we're out here teaching you that you must come back to God so right. you can teach our younger sisters so we can reverse this thing. That's right. Let's get the hell out of here. Right. That's what we're trying to do. Well, where are we going to go? That's what I want to know. We're going to go. That's, that's a perfect question. Read this first. Exodus chapter 22 and verse 16. Uh -huh. And if a man entice a maid that is not betrothed and lie with her, he shall surely endow her to be his wife. So the Lord said, if a man spit game to a sister, hey, how you doing, sis? My name is so-and-so. You know, uh, you look very beautiful. Let me take you out on a date. Boom. That's enticing a woman. The Lord said, if a man does that to her and lie with her, because nine times out of ten, if a man get a date, he going to have sex with the woman. So the Lord say, yeah, that's today, that's how it works. That's what happens. And really and truly, some of these sisters give it up without even going on dates. You, know? you understand? They go straight to the motel. That's true. So the Lord said, if a man lie with a maid, he should surely endow her to be his wife. Why? Give me Deuteronomy 23 and 17. Bring it up. Let me show you why he said that. Why he said that we shall marry this woman if we lie with her. Read. Deuteronomy 20, 23 and verse 17. Uh-huh. There shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel. So the Lord said, there shall be no whore in the daughters of Israel. Right. A whore according to the, the Bible, is a woman that sleep from man to man or a man that sleep from man, a woman to woman. That's a whore, a whoremonger. So it, goes both ways. it goes both ways. The, that's why the Lord established marriage in the beginning. Right. Adam and Eve, they was married. You understand that? That was, their, that was husband and wife. That's right. You understand? So, we lost our heritage. These things that, that, that we went through is all because we grow, broke God's commandments. Give me Deuteronomy 28, 15. Everything you see right now is because we broke God's commandments. You understand? I do now. You understand now? All praise him. That's what we are here for. All, that's right, sis. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So the voice of the Lord thy God is this holy Bible. This is how the Lord speak to us today, through this Bible, that the, and the prophets come out here and deliver the word to the people. You understand that? Yeah. So in order to hear the voice of the Lord, we got to sit down and read. That's why the Lord say, blessed is he that read it. 
Why? Because we are hearing the voice of the Lord that way. Right. Read. To observe and to do all his commandments. It says observe the laws and do, do. Study the law and do the commandments. Because that's the thing. In the Christian church, they not teaching no commandments. Right. They're teaching bring me all your money and uh, go home and come back next week and give me your money again. That's not funny, brother. That's what is it, it true? Is. It's true. You understand? Let me tell you something. This church right here probably make millions of dollars. But guess what? You got people, homeless people sleeping on the doorsteps of the church. True. Is that... That's that's not that's not that's the that's the life we live right now. Right. Our people are sleeping on the doorsteps of the church that made millions of years. Look at this church. Look at this big old church. You see that? It's another church back there. All these churches here. That should not be a homeless person laid on the street. That's right. You understand that? That's right. All these homeless people out here. These churches got enough money to clean up the community. Right. But they pay the churches to create homelessness listen by not helping they pay the churches yeah. to to teach this demon here to up. keep our people there Bring that's it what up. they do you understand that violence they teach us that when this image comes violence it comes uh uh uh, uh self-hatred self murder everything the christian church is the the crit the christian church is the white man's uh, 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 the Christian church is the way the white man uh, keep the black people at, a, at an all-time low. That's what it do. Enslave us in the mind. Read that. And his statutes, which I commanded this day, uh -huh. that all these curses, all these what? Curses. Being homeless, that's a curse. Working right. is a curse. Our women out of order is a curse. Right. Our brothers out of order is a curse. Right. Women wearing pants is a curse. Right. You understand that? This is a curse on the black community. Read. Shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So these curses shall come upon us and overtake us. Because you look at us people, we're not strong no more. Right. Back in the day when you was growing up, the black man, hey, the black man took care of his household, didn't he? Yes, sir. He went to work every day. Went to My work every did. day. My dad did. Your dad did. Yeah, and so did all the other men. Did, 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 your, woman, did, your, did your mother respect your father? Yes, until she started hanging out with a white man. You hear that? The sister said her mother was respectful to her father until she started hanging out with a white man. Bring it up. That is the Bible. Right. Re, uh, hold that. I'm going to show you that. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 3. Uh -huh. Neither shall thy make marriages with them. Uh -huh. Thy daughters shall thy not give unto his son. So the Lord said we should not make marriages with them, with the other nation. Anybody outside of the, uh, the nation of Israel. Right. The Lord said we should not make marriages with them. Read. Nor nor his daughter shall thou take unto thy son. So we should take that daughter and to give to our son. Read. For they will turn away thy son from following me. So they will turn their son away from following the Most High God. Right. Why? They put this image in them. Now they start celebrating Christmas, Thanksgiving, interracial marriage. Right. It's a crime. Interracial marriage is a crime. That's what the Lord That's right. It's a sin. Yes. It's a sin because these other nations don't have a God. So anything they teach them and we follow, we are in the midst of idolatry. Right. That's why we start celebrating all these bugged out religions. That's why we thank God and love everybody. That's why we doggone fill up the, 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 uh, the Christian church and we come out there stupider and stupider every week. Every week? Every week. We be dumb. Right. You ask a person, they go to church, they come out. What did you learn today? Jesus. Jesus. What Jesus look like, sister? I don't know. You see that? How, and you say you're 70 years old and nobody ever told you what Jesus the Christ look like? Bring it out. They have, but, you know, we couldn't practice that in a white man church. That's the image of the real true Christ right there. Black. Black. That's With hair like sheep that. wool. That's in Revelation. Watch this. We're going to show you this today. That's what we're out here to do. We're out here to teach you that. Because when our people realize that Christ looks just like them, they'll stop all the killing. That's right. They'll stop all the, uh, the, the, the interracial marriage. Right. The whoring out our women. They'll stop that stuff. Because once we see Christ in one another, we got to love each other. We got to respect each other. I can't kill my brother if I know he looked just like Jesus the Christ. Right. He got the same blood that Christ got in his veins. Right. 
That's the, the self-hatred that come in to teach in this image. Read that. Revelation chapter 1, verse 14. Uh -huh. His head and his hairs were white like wool. It says Christ, the hair on Christ's head was white in color and woolly in texture. Feel your hair, sister. That's pure wool. wool that's, that's pure wool. Read that again. His head, his head and his hairs were white like wool. It says the hair on Christ's head and the hairs on his face. Christ had a beard. He had a beard. The right. hairs on his face was white and woolly. You understand that? So, where we get this where we get this from? Where did this image that come from? You don't know. Slavery. They taught us this in slavery. Right. That's how they was able to control hundreds of Negroes, strong men. That's why our mama well, thought it was okay them? to be with the white men. Huh? Who taught them that? What you mean? They had to be taught to be what they are too. Meaning that it was our own people in the motherland that taught them. No, 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 no. Us. That's not true. No, 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 no. The we gonna we'll, we'll touch that too. Okay. You got a lot of good questions. We'll touch that. Read that. His head and his hairs were white like wool. It says the hairs on his head was white and woolly, read. As white as snow. As white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. It says the whites of Christ's eyes was a flame of fire, meaning red. Why? What was Christ's first miracle, sister? I don't know. You don't know, get that, 4916. Christ's first miracle was turning water into wine at the wedding feast. So don't you think Christ drank? Because the thing is, it was a wedding feast. It was a happy gathering. I'm going to show you that because you seem a little confused. Genesis chapter 49 and verse 12. Uh -huh. His eyes shall be red with wine. It says the eyes of Christ, Christ's eyes was go, is red with wine. Because he drank wine. We can drink, but it has to be in moderation. Exactly. All right, go back. His head and his hairs were white like wool, uh -huh. as white as snow, uh -huh. and his eyes were as a flame of fire. So why was his eyes red? Because he was drinking wine. Because he was drinking wine. Read. And his feet like unto fine brass, as if a burned in a furnace. It says his feet was like unto fine brass, as if he burned in the furnace. He what color is brass? Black. Like he, he was black after the feet. After you burn brass, it's black. Girl, after you burn right. brass, it's what color? Black. So Jesus the Christ. Was a black man. Jesus black Christ is a black man. And black. the most high God is a black man. You understand that? Yes, I do. You understand that now? So now nobody can teach you yes, that Christ is a so-called white man. No. It says Christ had woolly hair. Christ didn't have no damn German shepherd hair. Christ was a black man. Yes, Christ is a black man. Christ is a black man. You understand that? Yes, we used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.